Hey guys, it's me, Sai, and welcome back to another unboxing video. For today's video, we're going to be unboxing more Jurassic World Dominion LEGO compatible figures. For this one, these are a lot more smaller dinosaurs, now these being the Pyroraptor and a few juvenile as well. So without further ado, let's take them out of this Ziploc bag and unbox them one by one. Starting with my favorite dinosaur, Pyroraptor. And here we have the LEGO compatible Pyroraptor. And for this Pyroraptor, it's slightly bigger than the original LEGO version. And also, this has a more articulated body. It can move its head, legs, and arms. So, I really love this figure. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, and uh, I don't have my LEGO minifigures with me for today's video. So, I'm gonna have to pay my cousin and borrow this LEGO minifigure. So yeah, let's give it a great montage for a little while because that's what he wants. Anyways, here's the size of the Pyroraptor next to a Lego minifigure. Now let's check out the Juvenile Nasutoceratops. Here we have a juvenile Lasotoceratops. And now it's time to compare it next to a Lego minifigure. My cousin's Lego minifigure. I have nothing much to say here since I've been getting a lot of juvenile Triceratopses before. Though the printing and the coloration is actually pretty nice and detailed. It came from the bigger model or the original size of the Lasotoceratops that Lego has made months ago. But you know, this looks perfect. Coming in on number 3, we'll open up this juvenile Ankylosaurus. Okay, so right off the bat, I am not so happy with the look of it. it. The shape looks weird. I mean, they're trying to give it an, an ankylosaurus look. I mean, they just downsized the bigger version that LEGO made before back in 2020, but I don't think a smaller version would fit this one. Like, come on, look at how it looks. Even the shape. Like, the body shape looks kind of okay, but I don't think so. It just doesn't feel right. So here we go again with another size comparison next to Lego minifigure. So overall with this juvenile Ankylosaurus, I'm not so happy. And oh boy, here we go again with another Quetzalcoatlus. This is the third time this week, but you know, at least this one is smaller. Here we have a juvenile Quetzalcoatlus, and I, you know what, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this looks more like a pelican, like the color and the beak, it, it just needs more coloration to make it look like a Quetzalcoatlus, though at least I have a juvenile Quetzalcoatlus, anyways, um, I'm not so happy with this one as well, the printing looks kind of boring, it just lacks color to it, I mean, the only thing that's been changed here is the headpiece, but the body and the lower beak is just the same from the Tyrannodons that we get from LEGO. But at least they tried their best, right? Next figure is not a Jurassic World Dominion related dinosaur, but we're still gonna put it in here. And this one is the Indoraptor but slightly smaller or somewhat a juvenile version as well. And here we have the juvenile Indoraptor. Now, this is also a downsized dinosaur, or somewhat a smaller version of the original figure. Now, I really like the body mold and the head mold, though I'm disappointed with the legs. It's missing the sickle claws for some reason. 
but overall this is actually kind of a decent figure i just it's something's missing with this thing that being the sickle claw on its toes but i'm happy with this one the quality is nice and the printing as well so yeah nothing much new about this one i already have an indoraptor at home at studio one but this is still nice. The size is pretty proportioned next to the Lego minifigure as well, so I'm actually glad they made this. Next figure is another dinosaur that's not in Jurassic World Dominion but is still added into the set. That being a Legend of Easton Nublar Velociraptor from the plane set that we got back in 2020. And here we have a generic raptor from Legend of Isla Nublar, and as you can see, it just has the same raptor mold as always. Now, I really love the printing of this thing, especially the contrast and the overall pastel colors of it. I really like the beige coloring, the sand color, blue, dark blue, and yellow eyes. I really love this figure. Last but not least, we have the Plesiosaurus. Now, this isn't in Jurassic World Dominion as well, but this was included in the set. So, let's get right into building this thing and see what it looks like. As I was building the Plesiosaurus, it was so hard I had to build it off camera. Also, I forgot one specific dinosaur, and that is a juvenile Therizinosaurus. So, I'm just gonna show you a quick clip of it before we go back into the Plesiosaurus figure. And here we have the LEGO compatible Plesiosaurus. Now, I have a lot of complaints here. For once, this does not feel like it's LEGO, though the joints are made out of or somewhat LEGO compatible. But overall, this does not show any signs or parts that is LEGO aside from the joints. But I still like this. I'm glad I have a LEGO compatible Plesiosaurus so that I could complete the collection of my Jurassic World Dominion figures even though this is not from Jurassic World Dominion I still love this thing but hopefully we get to see Plesiosaurus on screen but for now yeah I'm glad it has a toy form and that's all for our Jurassic World Dominion Lego compatible minifigures now these are the more scaled down dinosaurs now what I really love about this or for, aside from all the dinosaurs that I got so far today I really love the Pyroraptor it just has so much details and all and I'm really happy to have this Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!